Hi, my name is Brady. I'm a current sophomore here at Wofford College. I'm majoring in biology and religion, and I'm also participating in the medicine and the liberal arts program here at Wofford. I'm actually a pre-med student, so today I'm gonna kind of run you through what the average day in a pre-med student's life looks like. I've kind of got a busy day, so if you're interested, please stick along, and I can't wait to show you a day in my life. So while I'm walking to class, I wanna kind of run you guys through what my day looks like today. So at 8.30, I have my organic class, and then at 10.30, I have immunology. 11.30, I have what's called research methods in the humanities, which is essentially a class focused on equipping students with the tools to conduct humanities research. And then at one o'clock, I have an independent study on spirituality and healthcare. Then I have organic lab to kind of cap off the day later. But before that, I have to go pick up some scrubs for my interim project. And then of course, in addition to that, I am going to try to find times to do homework in between all of my uh, scheduled events. So I woke up early today so that I could finish up some of the homework for my immunology class that I didn't quite get to finish last night. Being a biology major and a pre-med student can be pretty time consuming at times, and I often have to wake up a little earlier to finish some work. But one of the things that I love most about Wofford is how great the pre-med program really is. I've really come to understand that there's so much value in having small class sizes and foundational biology and chemistry classes. I know some of my pre-med friends at larger institutions kind of struggle with getting help in the basic classes that most medical schools require. So I'm really grateful for Wofford and for the one-on-one -on -one attention and help that I get from my professors. I also love that Wofford's biology major is set up to expose students to different fields within biology and not focus too much on one specific field. For example, Wofford doesn't have a biochemistry major, but it has a biochemistry class. For me, this means that I can explore various fields within biology while not being stuck in a certain field. Overall, Wofford's focus on students exploring the various fields within academia is one of my favorite things about Wofford. So now that I'm all caught up on my work, it's time to head for my 8.30 organic class. Now, you may be asking, Brady, why on earth did you choose to take organic at 8.30 in the morning? And honestly, I haven't found the answer to that question myself, and I have been asking myself that question since week two. But anyways, my professor is amazing. It makes organic very doable, especially this early. Organic went pretty well today, and surprisingly, I wasn't completely overwhelmed by all the hexagons. So now, I have an hour break until my immunology class, and I'm just going to try to get some general homework done beforehand. I actually found my friend Kenzie, so I'm going to work with her. So immunology went pretty well today. I really appreciate my professor because he has been trying to update the content to include information about COVID and the vaccines that are being distributed. And it's been really cool to see the actual real world applications of what I'm learning in the classroom. Now I'm off to my research methods in the humanities class. This class is wonderful because I'm learning the skills that I'll need to eventually complete my medicine and the liberal arts research paper. To talk a little bit more about this program, it basically allows students to, to look at medicine from various academic disciplines, such as philosophy, history, and religion, to get a more holistic view of medicine. I'm about halfway done with the program, and once I've taken all the classes that I need to take, I'll be able to use the skills that I learned in this research methods class to research the topic of my choice. I'm really looking forward to completing my paper, and I know that it'll be a worthwhile experience to both educate me and to talk about in medical school interviews. Class was great today, and now I'm off to grab some lunch before my independent study. Today, there was a free food truck on campus, so you know I had to get some free lunch. After lunch, I had to go to my room to Zoom for my independent study. I'm completing this independent study through the religion department, and what I'm studying is spirituality and its impacts on patients and physicians within the overall healthcare system at large. I've been reading this book with my professor, and starting next week, I'll be researching a topic of my choice that relates to medicine and religion. This has been such a wonderful experience for me, and I know that I'm going to have a much more holistic view of medicine because of it. I know that this experience would not be possible at a larger institution, and I'm extremely grateful to Wofford and the Religion Department for allowing me to forge my own academic career while at school. My independent study went really well, and my professor and I had a great conversation about today's readings. Now, all I have left today is my lab, but before that, I need to run and grab some scrubs for my interim project. In case you don't know what interim is, it's basically a month-long period where students get to take one class that's usually non-traditional. A lot of students end up studying abroad, working an internship, or taking a class on campus. This year, I'm going to get phlebotomy certified, which basically means that I'll be able to draw blood. The scrubs were a suggestion by the program that I'm getting certified through, and honestly, I'm not complaining because scrubs really are just like pajamas. I was able to set up this interim by proposing my own independent study. It was super simple, and I'm extremely grateful for this opportunity. Because of this opportunity, I know that I'll be able to find a job that'll allow me to dip my toes into the water of healthcare while in undergrad. And I know that I'll be better prepared for medical school because of this skill. 
After picking up my scrubs, I had to hurry back to campus to make it to my lab. One of the things that I love about labs at Wofford is that the professor and two TAs are always in the lab with you. My current lab section has only eight students in it, so I know that if I ever have any questions about anything, I'll always be able to ask someone for help. And trust me, with organic labs, I'm always in need of some help. I know that this individualized attention would not be possible at larger institutions, and I'm once again grateful that I'm at an institution that gives me copious amounts of time to interact with and get help from my professors. So I just got done with lab and my day's basically done now. I still have a few more things to get caught up before tomorrow, but all of the important stuff is done for tonight. So I hope that in watching this, you've been able to kind of understand what an average Wofford student pre-meds life is like. And I hope I've been able to convey why I love Wofford so much and why I think you should come to Wofford. If you have any more questions or any questions about pre-med or just like what a Wofford student's life is like, please feel free to reach out to admissions. They would love to help you out. Uh, thanks for following me along today and I'll see you around.